So behind me is another big set of sheds and we're using these for storage. So looking inside the shed you can see that uh, we're all sort of bringing all our stuff down gradually. Natalie and John have quite a lot of stuff to bring down from up in the hills. I guess me and Ollie have the least amount of stuff because we live in an apartment <laughs> and I had my stuff shipped down. There's my lovely four poster bed which I have no space for and my dining table and chairs which I also have no space for so they're just going to stay up here for a while. And these are the big storage batteries for the solar and then that there at the back is the backup diesel generator. So all of this, like all the other sheds, is uh, self contained and those are the big can you see those massive solar panels up there that's powering all this side of the property so now I need to go down to the shed uh, the hydroponic shed and check on the water but in order to not waste a trip I'm gonna fill up the little mule here with some rubbish because out the back in the forest there there's a there's a quite a bit of rubbish so I'm gonna pick up some while we have the skip is still a bit. but wherever I go from one place to the other he sort of comes along so maybe he thinks I've got food I don't know ha <laughs> all I've got is doggy treats in my pocket a bit too friendly I wonder what your story is mr. kookaburra firstly that you're on your own it's a bit unusual and secondly that you keep following me everywhere so I'm gonna see how close I can get here you go why are you so friendly? Do you want this? Come on. It's quite yummy, I think. The dogs like it. Here. Do you want this? Are you interested? Here. Good grief. Certainly not scared of me. Here, try it. It's yummy. Yeah, try it. Go on. Um, I have a little theory about this kookaburra. He's seen me picking up rubbish. He might be waiting for me to unearth some frogs or earthworms or something and waiting to dive in there. Maybe that's it. So for my non-Australian friends, when you're picking up stuff in the bush that's been lying there for a while, you have to be a bit careful. Um, of what might be under there. I mean, I'm not too bothered because I've got gloves on, but I'll see if I can show you what I mean. Quite often in things like this, you are likely to find red backs. Too much. Oh, here's a few. These are nice ones, nice specimens. I only just turned that one over yesterday. So the spider's probably gone, but the egg sacs are still there, looking very safe. Now, these, oh, I can see one now. These redbacks are probably quite small, but I can see one down there. I just don't know if it's, this is a female here. Can you see? She's just... This camera is really shit. Let's take my glow off so I can show you a bit better. There is a female, female redback. Very uh, classic looking egg sacs. And I don't want to upset her too much. She's just minding her own business, but I'll see if I can just shift enough so you can see the redness on her back. See? Very beautiful red stripe on her abdomen. Now she's hiding. <laughs> um, so yeah, as I said, this sort of common thing is to lift up things that have been lying down for a while. Um, use gloves if you have them. Or just be careful and look before you lift up because that's they like that they like dark sort of spaces that have been left alone for a while but she's quite big actually she is really a decent size I've seen bigger ones in the outback but she is 
a good size red. Oh, look at that. That is just magnificent. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? Now, you rarely get such a beautiful specimen like that. So I need to go and find her a good home because this pot, I'm going to move. Mind you, I might leave her here for a while because she's still looking after her eggs. Well, just, just as I suspected, this fella has definitely been watching me and he just dived down to this little patch here as I walked away and picked, him up a, picked himself up a few juicy morsels. I've been uncovering all sorts of stuff here, bush cockroaches, little lizards, worms, and he's having a bit of a feast. Now, I shouldn't actually be too happy about that because these creatures, as beautiful as they are, are not native to the southwest Western Australia. But I don't mind him eating a few worms while I'm cleaning up. So I've loaded up my trailer. Definitely saw a lot of redback uh, egg sacs. And I found these interesting little things, little seed pod things that should be useful. I'd say they were used in the vineyard back in the day. But most of this stuff is just all rubbish. The kookaburra has just been sitting there the entire time while I've been just walking back and forth carrying rubbish. Just totally unperturbed by me. And then when I get to the truck, he dives down wherever I pick something up and gets himself a little juicy meal. So, bye little fella. As you can see, there's a lot of rubbish that we've collected already. Um, 
it's not all plastic bottles that's just what's on the top because I only just started collecting those yesterday underneath is all sorts of crap you wouldn't believe what these sheds are full of all rubbish now if you look around here it's quite a nice time of the day to get a view of the orchard although it's getting a bit dark